the RV operations today rely heavily on experienced pilots and being able to automate the control means that we get better data mo more efficiently and also frees up time and resources. For this project we needed to mount a DVL facing forward and the Nortec DVL is so small that it was very easy. We only needed a simple camera mount to uh, place this, whereas the old DVL that we have from before uh, is very large and heavy and uh, would have needed a much more robust mount and uh, would have uh, been much more limiting for us where we were able to place it on the ROV. Getting the velocity and distance measurements from the forward-facing DVL meant that we were able to do an automatic pattern with the ROV uh, while automatically keeping a constant distance to the rock wall. The DVL was mounted in between uh, two still image cameras facing forwards and the input is uh, transmitted over serial communication to a control system that is continually um, developed uh, at our university. The velocity is essential in order to keep a smooth trajectory for the ROV, while maintaining a constant distance uh, will help counteract the difficulties that arise due to light attenuation in water. The design system was able to keep a distance error well within the accepted limits, and uh, the image quality was very high, uh, even with one malfunctioning lamp. From the engineering side, we mainly use the data in order to test and improve our control and guidance algorithms. But at the same time, we work a lot with biologists who are interested in using the system to map corals and other biology on this rock wall. <laughs>